Hello. Welcome to Rick's Kids. My name is Rick. And this is my build. Hi guys, this is my next build. It's a Ford Mustang GT4 by Tamiya. In 124th scale. Uh, I don't often do uh, modern sports vehicles. Or modern vehicles full stop. I like to do stuff from the 50s, 60s and early 70s. This looked like an interesting kit. Um, the reason behind this kit is my last build was the uh, 137, 132nd, excuse me, uh, Tamiya um, Mustang in the Tuskegee M colours. So my brain ticking into um, overdrive but why not buy a Mustang and do the same thing do this vehicle the Tuskegee Airman's colours so what you'll be looking at is a uh, natural metal finish vehicle good front red tail yellow side skirts Black fender across the front, yellow tips here, darky green or whatever, uh, olive drab or whatever it is across the front. Wheels will be done in the um, metallic grey to represent the exhausts. So that's what I'm looking at on this. I wanted to have a look inside. There are two uh, the two colour schemes on here. You have got the Goodwood Racing and the normal uh, racing schemes. Obviously, I'm not going to use those. I should be using decals off of some of this stuff, not these ones, but like the Ford Performance and the other bits and pieces. But that's the colour scheme I'm going to go for. I've had it all out. I've had a look. So, so give you look through the contents and uh like i said decals we're only be using some of them they're very they are very nice decals very nicely printed um there's not much in uh, how many st uh, steps in here we've got like 26 steps to you know finish the car up it is very nice detailed um, I've already taken the front bumper off and attached it to the front because uh, I need that for the first paint option. But it's very crisp. There is, but uh, how well, old this car is? I think it's probably a couple of years, maybe a year old. Uh, there's no flash anywhere on it at all, as you would expect. Um, as far as parting lines go, um, let's use a pointer. You, your parting lines, there's a tiny little one there that runs along the front bodywork both sides, but the rest of it actually runs down inside the body line there. Uh, it does come up here and runs down the centre till it gets to about here, then runs down the ridge line. From there, it runs inside the uh, body line again and then runs down the back. So that's where your parting lines are on there, and they are next to nothing. Can't see them at all. Literally can't feel them either, so let me get this stuff done on that. So here you've got um roll cage upper inside the cockpit. Uh, bottles, foot pedals, interior tub, base, um, or main chassis as you expect to be called. Um, you've got a small bit of engine detail. It's still curbside. Yep, nice details on the bottom. And you've got on this sprue, and it over the right way. You've got the grills for the covers for the front 
over the bonnet, interior, dashboard, console, um, front under the underneath of the front. So it's nice tub seat, tub seat, the rear spoiler, the diffuser, uh, front. Grill, gear, and etc. Um, maybe the back side skirts, interior tub, interior skirts, in interior skirts, uh, skirt in the interior, windscreen wipers, etc. So, door card, that's what I meant to say. Rain dead. Long day, going to work tonight. And not looking uh, so you've got your wheels you've got your brake discs and calipers front and rear rotors um that's all the engine you get so transmission under tray which goes under the engine you've got your suspension that's all the front suspension door system steering And uh, looks like end. That's basically the kit. Uh, there's clear parts. There's absolutely no no distortion in any of that glass at all. You can see my fingers through clearly through all that plastic. No distortion in any of that at all. Rear lenses, front lenses, side side. Etc. Got a bit of chrome in the. Uh, in the bag, these are for the rear lights, and these are all for the front lights. The rear mirror, um, that's a very nice bit of chrome. Tires are very nice, very soft, all the same. Uh, one thing I will say is the parting line run all the way around the middle. Let's see it there on the camera. Get it into the light. There you go. Yeah, so that's the same on all the, all the tyres. Uh, need to file them out, rub them down, give them a bit of a worn look. But yeah, very nice. So that's the kit. That's what I aim to do. If you're interested in the build, stay tuned because I'll be getting it up and running today, and the first coats of paint will be going down. That will be posted in the next video after this one. Stay tuned for Tuskegee Airman Mustang ET4. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to my new subscribers. Appreciate you all. Thanks for the support that you give my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.